That's one hell of a fan. Anyway, it came to my attention recently that I've been making videos on YouTube for over a year now. And when I say that it came to my attention recently, what I mean was it came to my attention in May. But that's by the by, it's now August and all that. Who really cares? So the one thing that struck me was that we haven't really done any YouTube style videos. You know, the clickbaity style videos or the videos where they're only like five minutes long and the real catchy, quick get people in, get people out, the end. And well, maybe it's time we change that. Welcome to five things I hate about my MX-5. This is not going to go well. Um, starting off with number five. Uh, um, The fifth least favourite thing, it would have to be um, uh, Johnny Five? It's a mammal. In bird. I'd bird. Abyssinia. Adam Duck. Adam Duck. Adam Holy crow, you can read! <laughs> ah. Input. More input. Okay, no Actually, that's not true. I, I love Johnny Five. Um, all right, I don't have a five. Maybe a top four. Um, what don't I like? I mean, I didn't like all the chrome, but I got rid of that. I got rid of a lot of that, actually. Um, hmm. Just give me five minutes. I'll find something. I've got it. Number four. I don't really like the mud guards being on the front, so I removed mine, so problem solved. But you know, they don't really look good on an MX-5 on the front. They look great on the rear, but yeah, that's a positive, so. Yeah, number four, mud guards. Moving on to number three, let's go inside, because it's raining and, well, there is annoyances on the interior, but exterior-wise, she looks great. Well, at number three, um, the number three most hated thing I have, it's probably the sun visor, to be honest. I mean, if you're as tall as I am, which is six foot-ish, give or take, then, well, you're not really going to be able to see all of the real estate out the window when you're driving along which is why ordinarily i just do that and then i can see i mean realistically speaking i could just get the screwdriver out and remove it buy a cap for it put that in its place and then i can see all of the windscreen I mean, I'll be honest, I'm pretty fickle. I just keep this because it has all the Japanese writing on it and because this is an import, etc. If I took this off Scarlet, I'd probably lose it. So, yeah, I mean, that's the FUD thing that I really hate. Yeah. Keeps me awake at night, that one. Moving on to number two. God, it's wet out there. Now, I don't know if you're aware, but I am not the smallest gentleman that you will ever 
see on the internet, or indeed in person, in fact I am on the rather larger scale, and Scarlet is a small car, so in order to get comfortable in an MX-5, you really should be about 5 foot 10 and weigh less than what helium weighs. And realistically speaking, I'm not that. In fact, speaking factually, I am not that. But, I mean, I still fit. In fact, it was one of the main reasons why I bought this car was because I fitted it. I still fit. I mean, just in some cases, especially with headroom when you've got the roof up, which is why I prefer to go absolutely everywhere with the roof down. So, you know, it means that I have millions of miles of headroom, but legs wise, yeah. If you go on a long drive in this car, it can become a little bit uncomfortable. But I mean, with regards to being a larger gentleman, well, that's my problem. That's not really the car's fault, is it? Yeah, so can't really hate the car for that, but that's reason number two. Moving on to the number one most hated thing about Scarlet. Now, the number one most hated thing about Scarlet, it has to be a biggie. And when I say a biggie, it has to be humongous, especially after all the things that I have mentioned before the number one reason. I mean... This has to be something that, realistically, you would almost, almost think about selling the car because it just gets right on your goat. And the number one thing that I hate most about this car is... Dramatic pause. The cup holders. The, that there. When you get a Mark One MX-5... Ordinarily, it will have, like, an ashtray in there. And then you've got nowhere to put a drink. I mean, as you can see, I've... Well, I've already solved the issue by buying a Jazz Performance combo here, which allows me to put in a drink and my electronic cigarette and new switches for the windows. Um, Yeah. That's, um, yeah. That's the top five most hated things about my car. Um, I'm sorry I've wasted your time. But let's be honest. How can you hate a car as good as this? I'll see you on the next one. Cop holder works. <laughs>